So just for the example sake, I have a SharePoint list up here. Name Leopoa is the, the name of the list. And we just have five rows of very generic test data that's in it. Here's my connected system for SharePoint. One of the things to, to realize about this is web services have nuances in, in their connecting through the different ones. So Salesforce, you know, you needed your client ID and client secret, which I have here. I also use my username and password, which we don't have here. There's also client credentials so that if you do need to do the single sign-on, so that when you log in, you're just a service account, you have that option also. Once we have the connected uh, option, we create a new integration. And that integration gives us a lot of the functionality that to work with SharePoint as far as uploading, downloading a document, getting the metadata on the documents, uh, working with the folders uh, in it. They also produce a few uh, methods for executing read requests and write requests. SharePoint publishes an extensive REST API to work within the list of SharePoint. So in this particular case, I did add a parameter for the list title. You know, I figured I'd show you how to make it so that you could pass from a function call within Appian the name of the list you're trying to query. Through a macro, I'm putting that list title into the URI that I call within SharePoint. So if we want to test this request, we get back all of the list of all five items. Now, right now it's pulling back France Clown. So now when we requery, you can see that now it's changed to Pigeon because it's, it's a real time update of querying the information from SharePoint to get it back. So very, very simple. And, and that's querying information. We can also put information back into the list. Here we have an execute write request. We're going to post this one. And then we're taking the information from Appian. So this is an Appian object. And then this method changes that Appian object into JSON, which web service call then uses to give to SharePoint. So let's just change this admin code to uh, Pigeon. The results said that the SharePoint has been updated. If we go back to SharePoint, here's the new row test with uh, the admin code of Pigeon. Bidirectional uh, querying and updating of information is entirely possible. But you can see that there's not a lot to this. It's just using our connected system and uh, invoking the SharePoint URIs that do the, the querying or the inserting.